What do you think it is that, that kind of brings all of those different art forms together? I'd probably say pain. It, it brings all art together because we I feel like we as a, as, a, as a culture in England, specifically, we connect through trauma. Um, like, you know, when people get drunk, they're all just like talking about their childhood and how rough it was, and you don't know how rough my childhood was, my childhood was it. And that's how we connect through trauma. And it, um, it seems like it's a bit competitive, but we all end up loving each other in the end. It's, it's a very confusing circumstance. But in this particular situation, um, pain transmuted into beauty and now everyone's saying what have you turned your pain into you know so it's all about connection to feeling similar to another person and feeling that connection um, so yeah this is just a great place to connect and when you when you bear your soul like these people and myself have done with music and art there's no choice but to connect then because you've all been in a place where you feel like you needed to say something against something and we've all we've all got that in us we've all got that ability to we've all got that urge in us to speak good because that's what it is it's not rebellious it's we all want to speak good into the world oh no beauty's going to save the world 100 percent there what is it is it dolstoyevsky that said that Someone said that it was a big statement for a long time in, in the 21st century. Beauty will save the world. And so many people said that it's just like, how, in, in, in any situation, how has beauty saved the world? Has it, how, has it fought any battles? Has it done this? But no, it's inspired change. And um, that's why beauty, the inspiration comes first and then the building comes second or the war comes second. The beauty comes first that inspires the change and then that's why I think art is leading science art is leading fashion art is leading everything art is kind of the answer to evolution it inspires the next level of change um, so anyone that comes through here if you hear poetry or you hear you see art and it touches you that's then inspired a change in you and then that change is then that change is then um, going to manifest into the world. You either take it to a spite place and feel like you can't do anything and seeing change and seeing something that's true you, that you want to change. You either get angry about the fact that you can't change that and it turns you into a more bitter person or you do what Zaf and Eve have done um, which is do something, ask someone put something together. If you, if you see art and it makes a change in you and then you don't make a change in the world, it does make you a bit, a bit more bitter, I think, because you, you convince yourself you don't have the power. But some people are out here and they don't need to, be they don't need to convince themselves. They know they have the power. Um, so they ask the question.